Hi, I'm Brian DiCiano, and this is the Red Napkin. The drink I'm making now for you is the Hendrix Discovery. And I guess I'll just tell you a little bit about the drink and kind of its evolution of how I originally intended the drink. Um, it originally started out, uh, I had the name, uh, basically, the Discovery. Um, I wanted to, I wanted to have the drinker kind of discover the unique or the most famous unique botanicals of Hendrix Gin, which are the rose petal and the cucumber. So what I was going to do is just put a Hendrix Gin just served on the rocks uh, with a little bit of rose syrup to hint towards the rose botanical and garnish with some wheels of cucumber just to give some uh, cucumber aromatics in the nose and then the, the rose syrup would just sweeten up the gin a little bit and uh, kind of soften the taste and just highlight the rose flavors and the cucumber fragrance would be highlighting the cucumber flavors within Hendrix. But um, I'm not that big of a fan of cucumber and so I kind of evolved the drink instead of just being like a simple kind of drink like that to use a different vegetable um, that I actually like a lot better that also works really well in drinks. Um, which is celery, um, and it, the celery complements the Hendrix Gin really nicely. It complements the, the cucumber within Hendrix Gin. The celery and cucumber in the gin work really well together, and the rose, of course, works well with Hendrix because it has rose in it, and the celery also works with the rose. And then just some uh, lemon to give it a, a brightness and uh, bring out some uh, more of the citrus flavors and uh, keep it from getting too sweet. So I'll start then using celery. Just cut up into like little chunks. I'm using about five inches of celery. Um, make sure you wash the celery and uh, so you don't have any dirt or anything like that in it. And you just need to muddle this up a little bit to release some of those cucumber or celery flavors. Um, celery has a really bright flavor. It's really, it's actually really good in uh, lots of drinks. Um, it's one of the ingredients I've been playing around with recently. So now I got my celery muddled. I can already smell the, the fragrance of the crisp celery. It's, it smells really great. And I'll just add a wedge of lemon. It's going to add some acidity and brightness. Drop the, the hole in as well and you'll get, um, you'll get some more citrus flavors. More of the lemon oils will be incorporated into the drink during shaking. And next, I'll just add half an ounce of rose syrup. This is the Monin Rose Syrup. Gives it a nice little pink blush kind of color as well. And then Hendrix Gin from Scotland. It's a really great gin. And I'll use uh, two ounces of this. Then I'll just add some ice and give this a shake and strain it into the glass. Get my other gla serving glass prepared. really simple. The, uh, the celery does break up a lot but since it's like stringy 
Um, it doesn't make a, a thick pulp like some fruits or other vegetables might. So it's really easy to just find this fine strain just right into the glass. Nice light pink color. Has a nice uh, fragrance of the, the celery coming through and the rose. And Hendrix Gin is also uh, an aromatic gin. Which then again adds to aromatics. And I'm going to increase the um, uh, smell and aromatics of the celery by just garnishing with a couple little celery sticks. And just to make it a little more beautiful, nice little celery leaf served on a red napkin. The Hendrix Discovery.